Hey, how's it going? It's William from Rocket Zero, and welcome to another Pixel Art tutorial. In this video, we're going to be building Prince Eric from The Little Mermaid. Now, I got him from CandyPatterns.com, description down below. So, what blocks do we need for Prince Eric? Well, we're going to start with some black wool, cyan wool, light blue wool, blue wool, red wool, white hardened clay for his skin, and then some white wool, a light gray wool, pink wool, and then we're also going to need some blocks of a gray wool. So, we're going to begin by placing six blocks of our black wool. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then again, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we need two rows of six. And then we're gonna do five blocks, one block inwards. So one, two, three, four, five. So remember, two rows of six, and then a row of five, one block to the left. And then we're going to go one, two, three. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four. And now we're going to do five blocks starting on the right towards the left. So one, two, three, four, five. And again, one, two, three, four, five. So there you go, that's what his left boot is going to look like, or I guess his right, if he's looking at us, so our left, his right. Make sure that's what his boot looks like. Now we're going to grab our sign wool for like the rolled up blue jean things that he has going on. So we're going to place a row of six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then again, one, two, three, four, five, six. So two rows of six. Now we're going to grab our light blue wool. And we're going to go up by four on the right. So one, two, three, four. And then we're going to go up by six on the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to place a blue right on top of our three blocks of our light blue. Or I'm sorry, our four. And then we're going to place two light blues. A blue. Two light blues. A blue. And then two light blues. So make sure you guys have added this like upside down U to the top of our four light blue wools. Then we're going to go all the way over here to our six light blue wools. We're going to place a blue. And then on top of it, we're going to place three light blues. Now we're going to grab our blue. We're going to place one block down here to the right of it, down here. And then we're going to go down by four. So one, two, three, four. Now we're going to start building the boot that we did here, but on this side, but from the top down. So we're going to do two rows of sits with our cyan wool. Had to go and look what the name of it was again. So like I said before, six blocks of our cyan wool. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure you have two rows of sits. Then we're going to grab our black wool and we're going to place five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. And then again, one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to do four blocks starting on the left. One, two, three, four. And then starting on the right, we're going to do three. So one, two, three. Now we're going to do five blocks going towards the right. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to do two rows of sits right below it. So one, two, three, four, five, sits. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's what his two boots should look like. Pause it if you need to. Now will be a great stopping point and just build what you see on your screen. So far we have just done the two boots, a little light blue, or I'm sorry, cyan blue, rolled up jeans. And now we're going to finish the jeans in a little bit. So now let's grab our light blue wool. We're going to place six blocks right over here. So we're going to go one, two, Three, four, five, six. Then we're going to place a light blue. 
And then we're gonna... <laughs> that was my phone, if you guys heard it, I apologize. But we're gonna grab our light blue, and we're gonna go up by three again. So one, two, three. So, in you, just in case... What am I saying? Just in case you guys can tell. This one is gonna be a little bit skinnier than the left. I'm not sure why, but that's just how the person who designed it is. So we're gonna stick true to his design. But it's looking good so far, so let's keep at it. Now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna place a blue and a light blue. Same thing on this side. A blue and a light blue. Now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna grab a red wool and we're gonna place nine blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we're gonna go back at the end of the video to fill the blue jeans up with some blue. So, but don't worry about that, that's gonna be at the end because it's really no need for me to explain that. So we're gonna do that later. But for now, this is what you guys should have so far and that would be another great stopping point. I'm gonna make sure to take a lot of breaks throughout the video because I do have a tendency to build and talk quickly. So this should help you guys catch up just in case I went a little too fast. Alright, so now I'm gonna grab our red wool and we're gonna place 11 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then we're gonna go one block inwards and we're gonna do 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we're gonna do one block here and one block here inwards as well. Now we're gonna start with his hands. So for his hands, we're gonna grab our white hardened clay and we're gonna place two blocks. And then we're gonna do four. One, two, three, four. And now we're gonna do five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then right here, we're gonna place two more blocks. That's what his left hand's gonna look like. I know we're building it on the right, but it's his left hand if it's looking that way. So now let's go do the other one. So just like over there, we're gonna start with two blocks of our white hardened clay. And then we're gonna do four. So one, two, whoops, we're building it wrong. One, two, three, four. And now we're gonna do five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then another two. So make sure his two hands look like this up to this point. Now we're gonna grab our light gray wool and we're gonna place two blocks starting here. So one, two. Then three blocks like that. So make sure you have those two, and then the three on the left. And then we're gonna place one, two, three with our white wool. And then we're gonna do the same shape, but like backwards. So one, two, three, just like that. Now we're gonna do his cufflinks, which is, I guess it's not, are those cufflinks? I guess those are just like the, the things at the end of the shirt. The cufflinks are like the little like metal things you put to keep them together, I guess. I don't know, I don't dress that formally. But we're gonna grab our light gray wool and then right here, we're gonna place two. And then three light gray wools. Then we're gonna place three white wools. And then three light gray wools. Now we're gonna grab our white wool and what we're gonna do is that we are gonna grab our white wool like I said before and we're gonna go up by nine blocks in this red block. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we're gonna do another nine on this side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now on this side, it's gonna be slightly different. We're gonna go up by six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 
and then here we're going to go up by 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now we're going to grab our light gray wool and we're going to place two blue. So 1, 2, and then we're going to do 3. 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, with 1 in the middle. Now over here we're going to go 1, 2, 3, with 1 in the middle, and then we're going to go 1, 2, 3, and then 2 on the top. Awesome, so let's move on to the next part, which we're going to grab our white wool, and we're going to go to the right here, and we're going to place five blocks starting from the right towards the left. So one, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to do sits. One, two, three, four, five, sits. Then we're going to do sits starting one block inwards. So one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to do five blocks starting in one block inwards. So one, two, three, four. I guess we're only doing four. I don't know why. I guess I miscounted it. But whatever. All that you guys have to keep doing is just to go right here. And we're going to do this time another one block inwards. So one, two, three. And then here we're going to do one block. So there we go. I just miscounted it. I wrote it down on my notes wrong. But you guys got it. Just do what I just said right there. And we should be able to move on to the next step. But once again, let me just go over it, go over it, just in case I mess you guys up. This one's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then the next one's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, sits. And then this one's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 1, 2, 3, 4. And then this one's going to be 1, 2, 3. Just made a little mistake with my notes. Ended up adding one more block than they should have. But so far, so good. We've done it. And it looks good up to this point. So now we are going to do the other side. So we're going to start with five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to do sits. One, two, three, four, five, sits. Then we're going to do five. One, two, three, four, five. And now four, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three, and then one on the top. And look at that. I did it right on this side, but not on the other side. So I just have to count better next time. But this is what we should have up to this point. So positive if you need to, now would be a great stopping point. Now what we're going to do, so we're going to grab our white hardened clay, we're going to place one block here, and then three. Then we're going to do five, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to go and fill this in later in the video, but for now don't worry about it. It's just some white wool that we got to fill in there. Now we're going to give him a neck, and I like to go a little bit of 3D here. I want to go behind it, and we're going to place four blocks. So we're going to place one block here so we can start it off. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four. And there we go. Now it's actually going to look like he has a neck. So it just gives it some nice depth when you're looking at it straight on. Just looks a little bit better, I think. I really like doing that to them. Okay, now for the face, what we're going to do is that we're going to grab our white hardened clay and we're going to do one whoops we're going to do one right there and then we're going to place another one right in front so now it's at the same level as all the other blocks so we're going to do seven so there's her first so two and then we're going to move towards left three four five six seven so make sure you guys have that going on now for the next step, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do nine blocks this time. So it's going to be one, two, then back towards the left, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Now for his cheeks, we're gonna grab our pink wool and we're gonna place three blocks on this side. So one, two, three, and then three blocks on the other side. One, two, and three. We're gonna grab our light blue. And now for his eyes, we're gonna do the same thing. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And then a white wool on the left, a white wool on the right. And now we're going to fill in the middle with some white hardened clay. Now we're going to go on this side and starting right on the pink cheek, we're going to go up by five. So one, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to place a block here and here. Now we're going to do that on the left side. So right in the pink cheek, we're going to go up by five. So one, two, three, four, five. With a block here and here. Now we're going to go back and we're going to place two blocks here and two blocks here. And now we need to do go and give him some eyebrows so he doesn't look so weird. So we're going to place one black wool here. Then two black wools on the top, two black wools here, and one black wool there. So those are going to be his eyebrows. Now we're going to grab our white hardened clay and we're going to just fill this in just a bit. Then here we are going to place four blocks of our white hardened clay. So one, two, three, four. And then again, one, two. Now we can actually get rid of our pink wool because we're not going to need it. What we need to grab is our regular gray wool. So let's move it a little bit closer to our black because those are going to be the two main colors that we're going to use for his hair. So we're going to start by placing two black wools on the left and two black wools on the right. Now we're going to go up by five blocks on the right, starting right here. So one, two, three, four, five. A gray wool and two black. Then we're going to do a black wool on top of the gray and two gray wools on top of that black. Now we're going to grab our gray wool and we're going to place seven blocks right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're going to do seven blocks of our black wool. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven directly above our gray wool. We're going to go back towards the right and then here we're going to place four blocks. So we're going to do one, two, three, and then one in the middle, making it four. We're going to place a gray wool here and then five blocks next to it on the bottom row. So one, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to do another row of five right above it with our black wool. So one, two, three, four, five. We're going to place two blocks of our gray wool to fill in this little gap. So one, two. And then we're going to do three starting right above it. So one, two, three. Then three blocks of gray wool. Then we're going to place a gray wool here and then three black wools surrounding it. Now we're going to go back to the bottom side of his face to the left and we're going to place two black wools. Then a gray and a black. Then a black and a gray.
And then we're going to do two gray wools right there. So it's basically three diagonal wools. And then we're going to place three pairs of two. So we're going to go one, two. That's her first one. Then one, two. That's her second. And then one, two. And that's her third one. So make sure that's all of the hair should look like. We still have to do one more row. But actually, let's go do it right now. And then we'll take a final look at it. So we're going to start right here. And we're going to place ten blocks of her black wool. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there we go. Positive you need to. That's what the top part of his head should look like and all his hair. I don't know why he has gray hair. Maybe he was like balding or not balding, but just like going white. You know, people get older, their hair turns white. So maybe he was going through that in his mid, like whatever age they were in the movie. Alrighty, so now all that we have left to do is just to grab our white wool, fill in his belly and fill in his pants with some blue wool. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll be back for the end of the video, but just pause it if you need to now that we have pretty much everything done. This will be a great outline and just a great stopping point before the end of the video. So I'm gonna go fill him in with some blue wool and then I'll be back. So I'll be back in just a second. And there we go, we have finished building Prince Eric from The Little Mermaid. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, so you can stay up to date with all our newest videos. I do plan on finishing the whole Little Mermaid cast, Ursula, Sebastian, and even Flounder, so stick around for those videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Go watch our other videos. And as always, tell your friends about us, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.